What is up Shade Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. As you guys know, we did this new trending videos that's going around. We did the best rated restaurant in our area. Well now, today, we are going to do the worst rated restaurant in our area. The restaurant has only one star. I'm going to read you guys the reviews of what people said about this restaurant before we actually go and eat at this restaurant. The first one, I would pop up all the things on the screen but I don't have that perfect editing source right now. I ordered from here for the first time a few weeks ago. I had my husband pick up our order on the way home from work. He came home and our order was wrong and missing some items, so he called and had to go all the way back and pick up the correct order. Granted, I could have told him what the order was supposed to be, so he knew, but really I shouldn't have to because order should have been done correctly. Number two. Very awful food. Skimmed on the toppings, majorly addressed that issue, and got the rude response that they did what did what they were standard the standard was. And they know what they are doing. Very rude, period. Lack of customer service is clear. I wouldn't give them even one star. Never been to any place so awful. Third, the last time I had pizza here, I got sick. I don't know if the meat wasn't properly cooked or if the ingredients were just bad either way. I won't be get eating here ever again. This location needs to work on their telephone ordering system. They constantly do not have an order that was called in. Each time they blame their central ordering system. Here's a novel idea. If your system is broken, fix it. If they still had a Monty's Pizza, the order would have been placed there. Instead, I am sitting in their drafty lobby, wasting my Saturday evening. This restaurant is a pizza place, but I'm not going to name what the actual name is. But I'm going to say that it is a pizza, and it is not a dine-in. You can't go in and sit and dine-in. Take your order and then go back home. That's the only thing that really sucks about it. This person said, just order pizza and breadsticks from this pizza place. place. And usually the food is good, but tonight our marinara sauce had mold growing on it. Lucky for me, I seen it and I didn't eat it, but my husband actually ate the sauce and was grossed out. He called the pizza place. The guys there told him it was just seasoning and then continued to argue with my husband. It was not seasoning, it was mold and it was gross. My husband actually ate it. Listen guys, we might be eating, end up eating mold. So make sure you like this video because we might get food poisoning for doing this video for you guys. That's actually all the reviews. Huh? Located in Procterville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So, so far the reviews are pretty bad. The Stop. only thing that I think is going to be pretty sure. bad so far is that you can't go in and eat. You go and order a pizza and you don't check your pizza before you get home. You go all the way home and you have something wrong and you have to drive all the way back. We are headed there now and we're going to order our pizza. But these are one of the trending videos that's been going around. We did the best restaurant and now we're doing the worst. Then there's another couple videos I actually want to do sometime. I actually don't know when I'll get to do it, but it's buying whatever the person in front of you is getting. I think it's going to be pretty cool because I'm pretty excited for that one. Like going to McDonald's and getting whatever the person in front of you in line is, you have to get. I'm pretty nervous about doing this video because the people said that they got food poisoning and there was mold in their food. I know some people just make up things to say it to make that restaurant look really bad. We're going to test it out. We're going to see if it's really good or if it's really bad or if these people are just making up things. But it is one star rated. Every other restaurant that's here in Procterville has at least three to four stars. And this one restaurant is only a one star. Ah, uh, it's raining. Okay, when we went inside, it was actually 
pretty clean except there was dirt all over the chairs for people to sit down and waiting and there was spitballs on the ceiling i didn't get to record it because where the guy was right there in front of me but there was little spitballs on top my hair's all wet it's raining look at my eyebrows on my forehead anyways what i was gonna have shay explain and she handed me the camera i think the pricing's pretty good you got a large pizza, some kind of garlic. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it there anything that was kind of like... It smelled weird. It was literally on, looked like only two people was actually working. Anyway, so the pricing's pretty good, I think. We got a large meat lover's pizza with a large, it comes with eight slices. We got garlic knots, like a breadstick, a Hershey's chocolate chip cookie and isn't the garlic really the garlic nuts comes with marinara sauce yeah, so we the one that had mold in it <laughs> we get to see if it actually has mold in it we're, we're gonna die jinx jinx you owe me a motherfucking coke screw your coke it smells delicious we got the food this smells really good i'm pretty sure this is gonna be the garlic knot so this is what the garlic knots look like. They look actually pretty good. I like how they're like one big, looks like a worm. There's the marinara sauce. I don't see, I don't see any mold, so that's good. I'm just like, give me the food. <laughs> so Jen ended up getting a cookie instead of brownies. It actually looks really good. Now for the pizza. Wow. You come really dumb. Wow, you come really dumb. It actually looks really good. There's nothing... I don't see nothing wrong with it. It has all the toppings that we asked. Okay, it does suck though. They didn't cut it very good. It looks like they just did it like once and then bam, they were done. It is really, really greasy though. You want to? It's really greasy, but the toppings I'm tasting taste pretty good. Mm. I'll just take the rest of it, thanks. <laughs> Turn it towards you. Do you want some marinara sauce? I'll try it. Do you want some poured on your plate? Mm -mm. They're really good, but it, they don't seem like they have much as che much cheese in them. I don't know. I don't like the. I don't think I like the marinara as much. Oh, there's not a lot of cheese. The cookie's amazing. Mm. I honestly don't see why they only have one star. Like, their food tastes pretty good. So they should not do any of you with the pizza. I honestly think they deserve more than one star. I don't know. Maybe not for me. The hard topping fell. Literally all of my toppings just fell off. But it's hard to put all them toppings on a thin crust. Stop it! She's got to tell you, she was a jerk. Yes, girl. Mm. Mm. Now what are you looking for? I've never seen it before, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm. I don't think I'll like it. In a way, like the seasoning does look like it. If you just like look at it, it does kind of look like it's mold sitting on it. <coughs> so maybe they did mistake the seasoning as mold. I'm trying to let a little piece. I don't want like a big one. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the cookie that Jen ended up getting. It's a burnt face. It's not cookie. It's graham crackers. 
Can you taste it? Taste it again. See if you want to taste the graham crackers. Put this in now. The cookie is actually better than the brownies. I don't know. I think I like brownie more. I looked up in the camera. I don't even see this big ass jug, but you got it. Some damn you see this big ass jug. I might give Trisha. <laughs> so you had to rate it. And what would you put your rating as? What's the number we're rating? One to five. Five star. One star. Five. Mom said five. I would honestly give it a four star, but only because there's no diamond. You can't go in it. You gotta go home and eat. Because the food is good. Like I said, the pizza's a little bit messy, but. I think it's just because it's really greasy. If you look at it, it is a lot of greasy foods that we put on it. Sausage, ham, bacon. pepperoni, bacon. So all of that put into one, it's going to be a really greasy pizza. The cookie's good, the, even the little bites are good. So I don't I don't see any complaints on the food. I honestly give it a four star, and I think they deserve more stars than just one star. The put this on top of the pizza. This is how much grease. But in my opinion, if you guys live around this area and you never ate at this pizza place or you have, I suggest you give it another chance. Maybe you just went on a bad day or had maybe, day. you know, those people had a bad day and they just got something mixed up. You never know. But I think they deserve more than one star. You said you didn't want to be on- ah! 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 <laughs> And you didn't say smack that- You, yes, but you asked me. Did no, you? wait, what did you rate it? They I never heard the rating. I said I gave it a four. I'm mad as hell. I don't know, I'm still like in the middle. Like, to me, the cookie tasted burnt. To me. Before she said it was graham cracker. The garlic knots don't have enough cheese. The first sliced pizza I got, all my toppings fell off. Oh, quit bitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. You got a thin crust pizza. You can't put a hundred toppings on a thin There's crust. There's not even a hundred toppings. Is there is one, two, pepperoni, sausage, three, bacon, ham. Four. There's four. There's more than that. No, there's four toppings. Hamburger, meat, sausage. There's, there's five. There's sausage and there's also hamburger. Plus, you no. gotta go by the weight too of it. No, look, no. I'm gonna be the bitchy one and I don't give a fuck. Ham. To keep hold the toppings. I pretty sure I said pan. Well, that ain't a pan. I might not said pan. I'm not a said pan false. No, but everybody's gonna ask you what this is. Yeah, unless you put all that little like, Caesar crap on I put it. plastic Caesar on my pizza. Don't judge. No. And half the time she'll put chocolate. So how would you taste the damn pizza? I can still taste the pizza. So what's your rating? A three. It's like in the middle. Okay. I give it a three only because I had all these issues. And just like at the Chinese place, like I was in the middle. The crab meat was like literally the best thing because we ate it there before. We just never knew the rating. We never knew it was the best one. I knew the crab meat was like delicious and that's why I went back and get, got more. Like that's all I got. But I don't know. I guess I'm just in the middle of the three. One of the, the comments is that so the pizza tasted old, like the meat. It didn't yeah. taste, I didn't seem that it tastes like really old. It doesn't taste old to me. How could you taste anything? You get that damn Caesar crap on it. <laughs> that's not my nipple and that's not my nipple. That is my phone and cards. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My second time doing this type of video. Turn on my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. Make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.